When I first discovered Minecraft, I used to be addicted to Minecraft minigames. But nowadays, I can't even bring myself to log on. What made the older minigames so much more fun? To find out, I set out to redesign Minecraft's most classic minigames in an amusement park I'm calling Nostalgia City. Listen, man, I'm not very creative. Now I'm gonna start off by flattening out this whole area to make space for my nostalgia-based theme park. Hey, look, a baby chicken. After that, I'm gonna create the entrance to my park. Welcome, all customers. There's no one here yet. But look at this, dude. I have like two little shacks, a place where you can buy your tickets and everything. Now, I'm also gonna create some paths around this area, which is where all my minigames are gonna go. And I'm done. That looks. No, never mind, never mind. With the entrance complete and the paths fully done, we can now finally begin work on the first minigame. And all I needed was 10 full shulker boxes of terracotta. I wanna die. To begin building the first minigame, we need to destroy half of the amusement park. Downs counterintuitive, but trust me on this. This is taking far too long. And I may or may not have promised to open the amusement park in seven days. Listen, man, I really needed sticks for the video. Which means that I did have to resort to some unethical method. Mine for me. But on the bright side, the hole is now fully dug, which means that I can start outlining this whole hole with the terracotta I collected. If you hadn't already guessed, the first minigame we're building is Dropper, which is a game where you jump off a really tall place and try your best to not die. Come on, come on, come on. First try, baby. To spice it up, we're going to be making this Dropper map dinosaur themed, hence all the ugly terracotta. Ew. And that is the walls of the Dropper complete. This thing is massive, man. And look, it also goes down all the. Oh my god, that is so dark. Oh, oh my god, I live. Before we can begin redesigning the dropper minigame, we need to actually build the dropper minigame. And sticking with the dinosaur theme, we're going to be building a bronchi- bro How the hell do you pronounce that? The way I plan to do this is to have the dinosaur's head kind of sticking out of the wall. And then it'll be kind of obstructing the player's path down. That way, you know, we can actually kill them. I, I see that my building has not improved since the last video. <laughs> I know this looks stupid, but I think once I add eyes to this thing, it should look better. Don't place eyes on literally any build that you have. All you have to do is to place a couple of ender chests on the eyes of your build. And that should look like eyes. The mouth is still pretty stupid, but I think I have a solution for that. See, if I just simply hide the mouth, no one is going to be able to see it. And the way that I'm going to hide the mouth is by building a massive tree right beside the bronchip. I still can't pronounce it. God damn. Yeah, my messed up, man. We gotta go bald. Nah, I'm just kidding. But I will leave that there just to piss off the people in the comments. Adding in the leaves is probably the hardest part of building a tree. But this actually looks pretty nice. I just realized this is only like 10% of the whole dropper. I'm gonna kill myself. You should. Oh, fuck. I added in a couple of these flying dinosaurs, and I also built a T-Rex skull at the bottom. That way, the further you go down the dropper, the closer you are to death. That sounded very depressing. Oh my god. Now, by this point, you're probably thinking that I've done nothing to change the dropper. And you'd be absolutely right. But fear not, because I have a genius plan. My plan basically requires me to build a fake sky right under the bronchitosaurus. That looks about fake, right? Oh wait, hold on, I have an idea. Perfect. Now, to add in the new stuff, I want to add some flying machines. See, these three holes are where the player is going to go, but a flying machine will come by every so often and block up these holes. The holes are already dug, so all we really need is a flying machine. And that should be pretty easy, seeing as I built a literal space I have no idea what I'm doing. It, it has literally been so long since I don't think that's right. Okay, this has to work. Oh my god, it did! Oh my god. Yes! I have no way of stop. Oh no. No, no, no. Please, 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 please. God, god damn it. God. Okay, now I have two flying machines built. If I do this... Yes! I, I don't know how I figured that out with my IQ. I mean, never mind. I, I knew all along. Shut up. Shut up. I had it all planned. This is so loud. Oh my god. Now, I also want to add a sideways volcano that will shoot the player with fireballs once they fall into the drop. And for that, we're going to need some blaze rods, gunpowder, and coal. Oh 
Oh my god. Building the volcano is actually pretty simple. It's the redstone that's a little time consuming. And it's times like these where I wish you could do that quirky little thing where you go two hours later, two hours later. This thing is done. Also, that was definitely a lie. This thing took way more than two hours. But look, now once you fall into the dropper, it shoots you with a bunch of fireballs. Okay, maybe you missed me that time. This was not worth my two hours. Now, as I last little bit to the dropper, I'm also going to be adding a couple of honey blocks to land on instead of water just to make it a little bit harder. And looking at it, I think this thing is actually finished. Dude, look at this. This is so awesome. Yeah, okay, I still suck at dropper. And with five days remaining, we're actually on pretty good... I definitely forgot to do the outside of this thing, huh? To decorate the dropper, I built a massive staircase leading all the way up to the top. I also added in a couple of dinosaurs outside, and then built a massive sign to advertise the dropper. But while building the sign, I also happened to stumble across one of my first ever videos. <gasps> Dude, look at this. It's my old channel that I haven't watched in years. Hold on, wait, wait let, me, let me play this video. Hi, guys. It, never mind. I, I don't think we need to say any more of this. At this point, I realized how much I missed that feeling of discovering Minecraft and being in awe of all the new things I never knew about the game. And this dropper minigame, although cool, was definitely not giving me that feeling. So, after completing the dropper, I decided to build some old Minecraft monuments in the park to try and spark that feeling again. And the first one that I want to build is a nether core reactor. See, back in the pocket edition days of Minecraft, there was no nether. So you had to craft this weird looking thing to spawn in a nether castle. Unfortunately though, this item no longer exists. So I'm just gonna... I mean, no one's gonna know this, right? Perfect. Oh my god, dude, this is bringing back so many memories. Now, I also want to build one of the most memorable landmarks in Minecraft history. But I only have four days to do it. So I'm just gonna cheat to get the material. This machine is known as a concrete dupe. And the way it works is, um, well, well, I don't know exactly. What I do know is that this thing produces a lot of concrete. Oh my god, dude, it's just flying into the wall. And after just a couple of minutes of AFKing, it's safe to say we have enough to build the next historical monument. The monument, of course, being Minecraft's very own tutorial world sign. Dude, this sign brings back so much memories. A hole right there. Oh man, the classic creeper A goes crazy. Come on, dude, this looks so good. Only two more letters left. The sign is finished, and this thing is just beautiful, man. I genuinely love that world, and this sign is just a small glimpse of it. I just have to do it for the other side. Lastly, I want to build one of Minecraft's most controversial landmarks. You ruined my childhood. But get this, when you walk through the portal, you might not end up in the Aether, but in a gift shop. Listen, man, I have to make the amusement park realistic. It has everything a real gift shop has, like overpriced items, random children screaming, and a very confusing layout designed to keep you trapped. I, I forgot the way out. Our park is coming along beautifully, featuring Dropper, a gift shop. Dropper. Okay, clearly we don't have enough things in the amusement park. Which is a bit crazy since this dropper is just the beginning. The next minigame I have in mind requires a crap ton of snow. Which is why I've flown all the way to the snow biome in order to collect two snow blocks. That's literally all I need. Okay, maybe that's not the whole truth, but if you make a snow golem and trap him in a cage like this, he will constantly produce snow for you that you can efficiently farm. This snow will be used for our second minigame, Spleef. Spleef is a minigame where you break a bunch of blocks under another player and try your best to not die. This seems involve a lot of death, huh? And after building the arena of snow, I made a massive hole under the arena in order to kill the player once they fall. So all that was left to do was to grab a bunch of shovels for the players and enchant them with efficiency 5. I stole a bunch of these books for free. I'm just kidding, they're all respiration books. Okay, we need to make an emerald farm. And to make one of those, I'm going to be using one of these. This is known as a raid farm, capable of producing 3,600 emeralds in just an hour. And all I needed to do was build one on the server. Yeah, there is no way I'm doing... Now down here, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up a bubble elevator in order to push the villager up. Wait, I just realized I need to get a villager. I really don't want to get a villager. Let's go, villager. Actually, I haven't named this guy. I'll name you Kevin. God, I hate him already. Into the portal, Kevin. Wait, where did Kevin go? Get in, get in, get in, get Look at me in the eyes. Look at me in the eyes. Why are you turning like that? Get in the boat. 
I hate moving villagers. Genuinely, I would rather jump into a vat of acid while being set on fire than move another one of these stupid villagers. Yes, oh my god, I'm always there. Oh my god, finally, man. Wait, I think I need two of these. And with the villager in there, I never want to do that again. God, that was so painful. The farm is now ready for use. It, it looks extremely weird. So all I need to do is I need to get some bad omen. And now I think if I fly over here. Yeah, okay. Did I break something? I don't, I don't think I broke. No, no. At this point, I was ready to give up. Everything that I had done until this point just wasn't worth it. And I just wanted to give It was the villager. I found the problem. It was it was Kevin. God damn it, Ke I hate Kevin. Okay, now if I try, okay, the raid is started. Please work, please work, please work, please work, please work. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, they're actually dropping. <laughs> this is sick. Wait, am I getting emeralds? Yes, yes, yes. So after an hour of emerald mining, I bought some efficiency books and crafted the shovels so that we can finally begin to revamp this mini game. But first, we need to collect some powdered snow. See, powdered snow isn't like normal snow. When you step on powdered snow, you sink right into it. Ow. But if you step on powdered snow with leather boots, you can actually walk on it. Oh my god. So if you take a metric ton of powdered snow and mix it in with the normal you one, you get an arena with some undercover traps unless you have some leather boots. Oh, but Aeon, wouldn't the players not be- First of all, shut up. Second of all, you're right. What we're gonna do is we're gonna place a dispenser at the center of the arena that will drop the player some leather boots. This will be hooked up to a redstone hopper clock that will randomly dispense the item in the middle of the game. Do I know what that means? Absolutely not. Does it work? Oh god. The dispenser is now fixed so that it actually dispenses the item when the clock goes off. Making this leaf minigame functional, but definitely not pretty. So to pretty it up, I went back and visited an old friend. We meet again, my friend. It, it's literally just terracotta. I don't know why they're so dramatic. This terracotta will be put to good use building the walls of the arena. Are, are you serious? Are you ser are you Guys, come on, come on. I'm sorry. I'm, I know I killed- I'm sorry. Now I just feel bad. With the walls all completed, I can now build the roof of the arena. But see, it's not actually that simple. I can't just slap on any old roof. So my idea is to build a massive snow globe filled with all sorts of snowy mystical builds. That means we need to get a lot of sand. Oh yeah, could have just used the sand duper. I also went ahead and grabbed a bunch of spruce wood. This tree is, um... A little bent. Lastly, I'm gonna add some candy canes to finish off this build. Whoa, this is sick. How do I get out? The snow globe itself is awesome and nearly done, it, except for, well... But before I try to fix the inside, let's take a stab on the outside because... My plan is to add four... four I got them. <gasps> my plan is to build four doors around the snow globe, which is gonna act as the entrance for the players. Then after adding the doors, I'm gonna add a nice looking design. That looks horrendous. Then after adding the doors, I'm gonna add a nice looking design to the outside of the snow globe. That looks pretty good. That looks, that, yeah. Now I'm also gonna add some snow to the outside as if the snow globe is leaking. This has gotta be one of the most satisfying Minecraft experiences. Let's go, fellas. Now the last thing we need to do before going back to revamping this minigame is to cover up this mess right here. Now of course I could build any old house, but I want to try a new building style. See, I've never been a big fan of the snowy type builds because they are terrifyingly detailed. But in the spirit of looking for that old Minecraft spark, I want to try out a new building style. In this moment, I genuinely found myself enjoying minecraft for the first time in a while trying to reignite that spark of minecraft is honestly getting quite exhausting so this house although terribly ugly was kind of fun to build the inside of the snow globe is now fully done and dude this thing looks so cozy it, it genuinely like looks so nice except the inside of the house um but it's gonna stay that way because i genuinely don't care at this point now as a final addition to the spleef minigame i wanted to make this game silent see spleef is often played very quickly and loudly so what if we flip the whole concept on its head by using these skulk is often found in the deep dark oh god using the right combination of redstone you can make it easily detect footsteps and no other sounds so if we put a couple of these calibrated shriekers inside we can use it to
Okay, it's not actually gonna play me. But using some dispensers and the potions I almost died trying to get, we can throw a couple of harming potions at the player if they start running around a little too loud. Ow. Now I just need to go and collect eight of these shriekers. This isn't gonna be fun. You've seen this in a million other videos, so let me quickly summarize. I went into an ancient city, faked a couple screams. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Quote unquote, accidentally spawned the warden. Oh my god, this is terrifying. Caught the toad, got the shriekers, and got out. Listen, man, this has been done a bajillion times. So I placed in the last bit of skulk, and with that, we have finished two out of the three minigames. But I still have yet to ignite that feeling of old Minecraft. And with only three days left, things weren't looking too good. Will I ever be able to get that feeling again, or will I just have to leave that as a distant memory? The two minigames I've designed were so cool, but they just didn't have the same feeling that they once did. The only way I can think about solving this problem at all is to try out some of the newer minigames. Not to be redesigned, but simply to live a new experience. I also really just want to build an ice boat racetrack. With a new minigame set to be built, we now have a mission. Two minigames in three days. Alright, that should be enough ice. My plan is to build a racetrack spanning all the way across the amusement park, starting from the nether portal and wrapping all around the other minigames to create a massive loop. Man, I remember absolutely falling in love with ice boat racing once I figured out that you can literally drift. I mean, just look at this. And that is the ice boat racetrack fully finished. But only the shell, but you get my point. Dude, this thing is so sick. Now, there are a couple of slight issues with it. Where is the start line? So we are going to have to do some redstone engineering. Basically, I'm creating a system that counts down from three, then moves these stone blocks out of the way to basically start the race. Honestly, I have no idea how to do but that. But after a couple of attempts, this thing should work like this. I, I don't think that works. Like this? This? Like this? Wait, oh my god, that actually worked. Dude. That wasn't even like a funny job. I just blew up half my racetrack for no goddamn. But all jokes aside, this thing does actually work. Now. And yes, I did just spend 10 minutes fixing the race. The start line is now fully made, but I did run into another problem. I should probably add walls. Why would you add walls, you stupid idiot? How could you? Probably because you've been outside in the past six months. See, if you add walls to the racetrack, that would get real annoying real quick. But if you add curbs, you give the driver some extra room to correct their boat and get back on track. So the track is now fully curbed up. To be honest, man, this thing's actually shaping up to be quite nice. Except for the part where it literally defies the laws of physics. So I added in a couple of supports and some lanterns to light up the whole track. Which reminded me, the park opens in two days and this thing is, uh... Still pretty ugly. So before I go and test out this beautiful track, we need to clean this area up. Dude, this part is so insane. It looks so nice, man. Look at this. I have... I don't know why I have candles. They just kind of look nice, okay? But dude, this, this part is genuinely looking so, so good. Oh my god, it's also almost sunset. Hold on. This is the perfect time to test out the racetrack. Three, two, one, go! God, man, I have not tested this out yet. This is so sick. Let's go! We had just one last minigame to build, but the only problem is I don't think I can get this done in time. Finally, I had managed to catch a glimpse of that feeling with the ice boat racetrack that I've been chasing all this time. But in doing so, I had risked my final minigame. All the fun that I had had building the ice boat racetrack and getting that new experience might not be worth anything if I can't finish the amusement park on time. Well, that all changed when... Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I scripted the hell out of that part, but come on, man, seriously, I needed some- Alright, buddies, <laughs> today's the day. We're building the last minigame. Woo! Please clap. The final minigame we decided to build was survival games. You know that one game among us with the imposters and the spaceship? Yeah, it's nothing like that. Survival games is a game where you and a couple other players are dropped into a map where you have to loot and kill each other. Maybe it's a little bit like Fortnite. It does lower the chance of prostate cancer. 
Dude, yeah, it does. Yeah. Matter of fact, I love prostate cancer. It's been 18 minutes, bro. Oh my god, this is. I I should have charged more. To... You're not getting paid. You what? I, you know what? You know what? Let's do let's do a let's do a hold your breath competition. Okay. All ready? Okay, three, two, one, go. <laughs> now this map might already be familiar to you because this is the one and only Breeze Island, one of the most classic survival game maps ever. But I wasn't gonna build this whole thing from memory. See, with this cool mod called Lightmatica, you can take a blueprint of the whole island and create a hologram on the server you're playing on to build over. How the hell do I use this? Using that, we are able to recreate the exact island block for block on the Eclipse SMP. Hey, my mountain actually looks pretty good. Hey, mine looks. Never mind. This is actually starting to look like the island. This is crazy. You're actually starting to look like a disappointment. Okay. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. The, the, genuinely, like, the nostalgia this brings back is so crazy. I remember, like, Techno walking through the- it's Beijing Canadian, it's so, so nostalgic. We have one last thing to do before we can get to redesigning, and that's to build the center stage. Bro, all this time I had spent chasing that feeling of nostalgia, that feeling of being a kid again, only made me realize how distant and far I was from the game that I once knew. I realized in these final moments of building the island that what I needed wasn't to try and relive the old memories. What I really needed was to experience new ones. Through ice boating, hanging out with friends, and reminiscing about the old times, that is when I truly felt the most happy. I found that maybe it was time to let go of the past and let go of trying to find that feeling. Life is stressful and hard, but once you stop trying to escape that feeling, you might just catch a glimpse of the old memories you once lived. And so for that reason, I don't think I'll be redesigning this minute because I think it's better off the way it is. Also, I definitely didn't have enough time before the opening day. For the past week, I have been hacking away at an amusement park that will take you guys through the most nostalgic ride of your life. Please, everybody, follow me to the end. <laughs> How did you all oh die? Welcome, everybody, to my brand new theme park, oh Nostalgia City. So this was it. Maybe I didn't get to redesign every minigame or do everything I had hoped for, but I think that's what this game is all about. Minecraft was never meant to be relived, but it was simply meant to be lived.